Good morning. Uh, we'll continue with me the overviews of skeletal system and the overviews of as well the muscular system. Uh, you know, it's an overview, so that is an highlight. I will give the highlights of the uh, skeletal system as well as the muscular system, right? Uh, Okay, uh, skeletal systems, uh, you know, it gives our basic shafts and support that the muscular systems act on it and it creates emotions, they create emotions, okay, sorry. During contractions of muscular systems and muscles, they produce uh, a movement because uh, skeletal systems serve as a leverage, a leverage. So during contractions, they produce a movement. And these skeletal systems include the bones, major parts of the skeletal system is the bone, as well as the cartilage, the cartilage joint. The joint means it is uh, a site where two or more bones are articulated from each other. And there is also associated structure like ligament and tenda. Uh, as you know, tendons which connect uh, muscle with that of the bone, whereas the ligament which connects the uh, two or more bones together, specifically which is found on the joint part. So uh, we will see uh, each contents of the skeletal system, starting from the, the bones. You know, the bone is which is a living structure, a living structure, but it is highly specialized connective tissue because it is a rigid and which gives a protection for our body and major parts of the skeletal system is made up of by uh, composites of uh, by bones by bones uh, these bones is specialized for protections and support for our body and they provide a cavity right the cavity within the cavity there is vital organs and those vital organs are protected by those bones so uh, uh, these uh, bones also used for the productions of blood productions of blood blood synthesis or it is called uh, hematopoiesis and which is as well as for the storage of uh, mineralized calcium and phosphorus Okay. You know, bones by itself is composed. It has two components: the uh, a compact part and as well as the spongy part. The compact part is most of the time which is found on the external parts of the bones and which is a smooth in their appearance, whereas the spongy bones, which is uh, found majorly on the peripheries of long bones, the peripheries of long bones, as well as which contains a lot of uh, space and less solid matters. Uh, you know, uh, these two components of the bones are uh, identified by their own contents of uh, the relative mass of solid mass, as well as the space that is found within, within the bone. Uh, you know, all bones, all bones, they contain these two types of uh, the bone parts, but they are categorized, they, they differ based upon its uh, functions, the content and the architectures of those two components of the bones are differ from bone to bone based upon its uh, functions. That means uh, the bone that is responsible for uh, attachments of muscles, many muscles, specifically on the long bones, on the shaft of the long bones, almost all parts of the shaft of the long bones are composed of 
compact bone because because the compact bones are uh, small, uh, lasagna is a spongy type of uh, bones. Uh, you know, at the center, next to the spongy bones, there is also a medullary cavity, which is contains a bone marrow. That bone marrow is responsible for uh, fat storage as well as blood synthesis or blood formation. You know, this one is the uh, long bones, the long bones that shows uh, the components of the spongy the sponge bone, as well as the compact parts of the bone, okay? You know, the compact parts of the bone is majorly, which is found on the shaft, on the shaft of the long bones, and major parts of, almost all parts of the bones are composed of compact bones. But on its periphery, on its periphery, that means on the epiphyseal parts of the bone, Abdulaz, a summer log? Oh, summer. Yes, summer? No. Oh. Ah, sure, ah, sure. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, the long bones, which has a cavity, medullary cavity inside. This medullary cavity, as you have seen before, is contains a medullar a medulla uh, that uh, is responsible for the production of replacer cells as well as for storage of the uh, fat. Uh, and its periphery, its periphery, major parts of the bones is composed of the sponge part, the sponge parts, but it's covered with 18 compact bones, 18 parts of compact bones. Now let's some structures of the uh, long bones, the long bone. The long bones as a shaft, or it is called the body, which is majorly composed of bones of uh, its periphery. There is a distal and proximal epiphyseal, epiphyseal part. This epiphyseal part is majorly composed of by uh, uh, spongy types of bones and which is covered by articular cartilage which is uh, responsible for lowering friction that minimizes the friction and the external parts of generally which is covered by the connective tissue which is called peristineum, the peristineum, which is a connective tissue and which is uh, connected with that of the bones is by the sharp eye fibers, which is the sharp eye fibers, whereas this one is the peristineum, the peristineum. And, uh, you know, the bone is a living organ, a living organ, so which, 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 which has uh, an artery, the artery which is most of the time is uh, neutral artery, which enter to the uh, uh, bones through the uh, foramen, the neutral foramen, the neutral foramen. There is, of course, there is other artery that is responsible for supplying the bones, especially the peripheral parts of the bone. We will see later on on a va a vasculatures of bone. Uh, so, this is the articular surface. The articular surface, which is covered by the articular cartilage, most of the time, this articular cartilage is hiring type of cartilage, hiring types of cartilage that goes to minimize a friction. A friction. Okay. And the other structure that is found on the long bones, which is the medullary cavity, which is found within the uh, shaft, within the shaft, which is uh, contains the marrow, the marrow, which is contains a marrow. The marrow may be, uh, is contains a red bone marrow or a, a white, I mean, uh, yellow bone marrows. The yellow ones, which is responsible for, um, for storage of fats, whereas the red one is responsible for the production of pillar cells. Now let's see the microscopic structures of uh, 
the pole, the microscope structures. You know, uh, osteons is the structural units of the bones, the structural units of the bones. A lot of osteon cells, they together form uh, the uh, pole. For instance, this one is one osteon, and this one is the other, and this one is the other osteons, and they together form the bones. In each osteon, uh, there is a lamina, you know, this one is a lamina, and this one is the other lamina. They are arranged concentrically, concentrically. At the center, there is a, a, a canals, the canals, this central canal or Haverstian canals, Haverstian canals, which is responsible for uh, conducting blood vessels, blood vessels, you see, this one contains blood vessels. And there is also a transverse canal, which is, um, uh, which is called uh, perforating foramen or fork command foramen for foramen that communicate with the others, with the others uh, osteoid cells from one to the other osteoid cells. But this one is perpendicular to the uh, central canals, the central canals. In between each, in between each lamina, there is a space, which is the lacuna, the lacuna, you see, which is the lacuna. This lacuna is a space that contains the cells osteocyte cells. Osteocyte cell is a series of multiple bone cells, multiple cells, multiple cells, which is housed within the lacuna. And there is also from each lacuna, there is a tiny radiated uh, spiny like array, which is canaliculi, the canaliculi, which is also used for uh, transportation of uh, minerals and nutrients, as well as the blood vessels generally the blood vessels through diffusions. Okay. You know, in between each lamina, there is uh, uh, each lamina, there is, you know, which is a site for osteocytes, a site for osteocytes, yes. This one is an osteocytes, yeah. Okay. Now let's continue to the uh, next components of skeletal system, which is cartilage, which is cartilage. Uh, unlike that of the bones, the cartilage is somewhat uh, flexible, whereas the bone is more rigid, more rigid, and which is resilient in their appearance. And uh, uh, this cartilage is provided for the flexibility of our body. Of course, it's, the flexibility is uh, different from person to person, and it depends uh, on age as well. Because on regarding on age, um, this cartilage, this cartilage are many in younger than the older ones. So the younger ones, a younger person is more flexible than the adult one the adult one, because their skeletal system is most of the time they are mainly composed of cartilage, you know, composed of cartilage. But through time, through time, this cartilage is uh, changed to the bone by the process is called ossification, ossifications. <clears throat> uh, there is uh, a cell like that of osteocytes. Osteocytes is a, a cell of the bone, whereas the chondrocyte is uh, a cells of the cartilage, as well, which is found within the lacunas of the, the cartilage. Uh, you know, cartilage, it is still a connective tissue, a connective tissue, which is composed of a cell, chondrocyte cell, which is composed of chondrocyte cell, plus there is also uh, extracellular matrix. This extracellular matrix is somewhat semi-fluid or jelly-like structures. A set jet like structure. So it provides the flexibility nature, the flexibility nature. This structure is contains the collagen and elastic fibers, elastic fibers. And uh, uh, unlike that of the bone, unlike that of the bone, which is avascular, cartilage is avascular, 
that means the gains its blood content its blood and uh, that means the source of oxygen as well as the nutrient is the gains through diffusion through diffusions so um, of course cartilage uh, is not easily broken or fractured it is flexible they can resist uh, pressures by flexibility it's small here but once it is broke once it's broke repairing is more delayed repairing is more delayed because there is no blood vessels as well as they didn't get enough nutrient to undergo uh, uh, repairing of the uh, broken parts of the cartilage but uh, the, the bone is they repair more faster than the cartilage.